what we noticed, which was quite strange actually, is that the the orphanages are in the middle and then on the outside there's like a children's playground and we saw sort of lots of mums and things bringing their kids to this little playground where their kids were on the slides on the swings things like that and I just thought it was a bit odd to have an orphanage right there where obviously these children can see only through a fence um, the fact that there's mothers there with their children and they obviously are there because their mothers and fathers and family members have given them up. Basically it's like an educational centre, it was set up by teachers um, in 2002 and it was to give orphans kind of a better education. A lot of them haven't finished um, like the proper um, sort of education that w that we would expect in, in the UK for example. The problem with Russia is that if you um, don't have an education then you are unlikely to get a job. What I found really the problem with um, not the problem with Russia but sort of the problem that I found here is that the people who are orphans do not want to talk about it. They really don't want to tell anybody they are really unhappy about it they hide it I mean honestly we I've been in contact with over 20 people and some of them have dropped out because they want to receive payment one of them has dropped out because they just don't want to talk about it and one of them has dropped out because they don't tell anybody about it I um, met with him and I had a chat with him about what we're going to talk about, asked him some of the questions. Um, everybody who I've spoken to here does always want me to go through the questions first, which is strange. Um, I was a little bit scared at first that they weren't going to give me um, a genuine response because they already knew and had planned out what they were saying. honestly thought that they would let me into an orphanage, I kind of went with that mindset but they didn't let me into an orphanage either and I have kept, kept trying to you know, contact different charities, see if I could speak to someone who's 16, 17, 15 even, who's still there, who can give me an account of what it's like now, which is a little bit of a shame because it kind of changes, changes the theme of the documentary, now I think it's going to have to be a sort of life after. Mm -hmm.